Hi there. I wanted to show you something I think is a little unusual. This is an old vintage tanker. It's probably the oldest one I've ever had. And you know, the tanker is very similar to the Spartan in the tool set. And there's a large, except instead of a corkscrew, it's got a Phillips driver on the back. And there's a large tanker, it's 91 millimeter, or about three and a half inches. And then there's a small tanker, an 84 millimeter, or about three and a quarter inch model. And this is the smaller one. And it is vintage. You can see that it has the old exposed all here. Uh, the exposed rivets. Uh, it has no bail or shackle and uh, no key ring. And it also has uh, no toothpick or tweezers. Um, so this knife I'm thinking is from the very early 50s. And um, let me just walk you through it real quick. The um, large blade came to me horribly abused. It was uh, poorly um, sharpened. It was uh, missharpened. You could tell it's one of these uh, deals where somebody took a stone and laid the blade completely flat on it and just did this to both sides. So I mean it looked practically ruined. So I have had to um, sand and polish. You can see these uh, blades. They do look a lot better and there's still some small scratches I couldn't get out but uh, it has a new edge on it. It's looking really good. It reads uh, Army Swiss and then on the other side, Victoria, Switzerland, stainless. Um, it has a small clip point pen blade. And uh, no tank stamp or anything on that. It has the screwdriver cap lifter, no wire bender. And this is what I think is kind of unusual about this knife. Um, first of all, Victorinox, according to their own records, didn't start putting Phillips drivers uh, with the you know flat side and the file on them on their knives until 1952. Well, this is a can opener that was used from 1946 up to about 1951 when Victorinox introduced this style of can opener. And the one you see today with a small screwdriver. So, obviously, I think, you know, I may be wrong about this, but I think Tinkers kind of came out there in the early 50s. I've, I've looked at an old 1942 catalog on SAC Wiki, and it didn't see anything that looked like a Tinker. So I think they just started using that Phillips driver in the early 50s. So I'm thinking most Tinkers, and most of the ones I've, I've seen, have this kind of screwdriver. I don't know if this is rare or how unusual this is to get a Tinker with this old second generation uh, lobster claw style can opener, but it's the first one I've ever seen, and so I'm going to hold on to this knife for a while. And then, you know, back tools, your big sharpened awl. And this knife cleaned up really well. I worked hard on it, but it paid off. And then the uh, screwdriver. The screwdriver has a flat side with the file. That's really hard to get clean because it's just kind of exposed steel and it's going to corrode, turn black like that. I think they used that up until about 1975. But I'm just really happy the way the knife came out. Really clean. Looks good. It's a fingerprint magnet. One thing I like about these older knives is that nickel silver liners. They just have a smoother feel, better look. They make the knife a little heavier. I think they're stronger than aluminum. And it's got that nickel silver shield inlay that's a little thicker. Kind of turns gold with uh, age. So yeah, there you have it. My new retro vintage tinker. Thanks for watching.